May I ask you about love? Have you called me a son? Yes, but you never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. You know, my God, put an angel on earth just for you. Just for you could rescue you. All right, so first things first, we're going to try and make this as quick as possible. First things first, I have, I'm going to have a link in the video description. You're going to be able to pretty much install or download this MU deck pack that I have. In the MU deck pack, you'll have Nintendo Switch uh, product key files is what they're called, um, and as well as the firmware, um, which is that folder that you see right up here, as well as a BIOS folder. Now, this BIOS folder has pretty much every BIOS you're going to need any of the systems, all the BIOS will be right there, as well as this MU deck install file zip. This will have um, your installation, uh, I guess you can say command for Linux. It'll have your MU deck installation zip for uh, Steam OS, and it'll have the bat file for the early access windows. I have all this information in the video description. All you have to do is click the link and download it. Once we are done there, now I'm going to show you my MU deck configuration, or I'm going to show you what MU deck looks like on the Windows device. Again, if you have a Steam deck, if you have a Linux machine or whatever the case may be, it'll look slightly different, but the way in which you put the ROMs in their folder and the BIOS in their folder, um, everything is almost the same. You just have to play around and look for the right directory. So right here, I'm just going to show you my BIOS checker. This took me a little bit of time, but I was able to get all of the BIOS. As you can see, everything is literally flashing green. I'll just wait till it finishes so you guys can take a look. So as you can see, everything is literally green. If you are having issues and you know, you're not able to have them green the way that mine looks, you can go into uh, manage emulation. Let's say that you're the one that usually, you know, give pe gives people issue is Yuzu or um, or any other. Uh, just go ahead and read the special configuration. It tells you that, you know, you have to have the Yuzu files inside of the app data and things like that. So if you go into your windows, click on here and then you do run and then you go into your app data. You go into roaming, emu deck, and then as you can see, emulation or what is that? Emulators. Sorry. You have all the emulators here and Yuzu is right here. So the files should go there and it has to have kind of like the same naming convention that is telling you within emu deck. Before you set up this, you'll get like pretty much, you'll get a bunch of prompts. Um, I don't want to uh, reset my stuff or anything like that, but the way that you install it, it'll ask you to select your ROM directory. I have a micro SD here in my handheld. So as you can see, it's right here. So it'll, my directory is different. Once you do that, then you'll see that MU deck has made a directory for you. And it, you'll see this folder called emulation. You'll click on emulation and it'll look something like this. You'll see BIOS, you'll see ROMs. If you go into ROMs, you have every ROM folder in here and where you will need to place your ROM files. Sometimes your ROM files will need to be zipped. Sometimes your ROM files don't have to be zipped. For example, if I go into PS2, I have .isos for my PS2. If you go, if I go into, let's say, my Game Boy Advance or my Game Boy, they are all in zip files. So it all depends on how the emulator reads the ROM. If you see that your ROM is not working and is zipped, just extract it and have the zip as well as the extracted file and see if that'll work. How do you launch your games? There's many ways that you can do it. You can go ahead and launch them with emulation DE, emulation station DE. This will pretty much, you, if you have a handheld like this one, you have to change into gamepad. So it reads the gamepad. Now, if you do it like this, this is no problem at all. Let's say I pick 3DS. Let's say I want to go ahead and do Mario Kart. It goes ahead and launches it. And 
again you use the options on top to be able to you know sort through your controllers or anything of that nature and then you can go ahead and exit if you can't find your emulation station or pegasus or anything like that what you have to do is go into your start more and then look for emulation station right here emulation station de right click open file location and then it'll give you all of the uh emulator icons uh, you can right click show options and you can go ahead and send to desktop again that's just emulation station you can use emulation station or you could use pegasus once you're in pegasus again it'll pretty much deviate up for you say we want to do 64 golden eye there it is golden eye now if you want to play 360 games you have to have um the setnia right here all right so let's say you want to go ahead and play a 360 game an emulator like setnia if you click on it sometimes it just won't open as you can see there it didn't open at all if an emulator like Senia doesn't open, just go to the website, click download, master, and it'll go ahead and uh, download it for you. I'm going to save this on my desktop. Once you see it here, you're going to go ahead and extract it. You want to go ahead and open it up, go to file, open. And what we're going to go ahead and do is look for that, look for that directory that Emudeck made for you. Mine's is under Xbox 360. So Xbox 360 right here. And we're gonna go ahead and click on ROMs and we're gonna just put Gears of War. And as you can see, the game just starts. There's a couple of things that you have to do for PS3 and PS4. You have to look for the emulator. In this case, we're going to do PS3 first. And the emulator is the RPCS3. And with the PS3 emulator, once you go ahead and download the firmware and install it, you'll go click install. You can download this um, firmware from the official Sony store. Once you do that and install it, then you'll just put the game inside of the PS3 directory. Um, as in like, you have to make sure that the game is in this format. You have to open up the, the the ISO of the game, like a PS3 game. Show you. PS3. You would have to open up the ISO and actually have the game files like this. Game, the update, disk. And this is the ISO right here. So if you double click on the ISO, the computer will mount it and pretend like it's a CD. You'll get this option. It'll say, do you want to open this file? You'll click on open. And as you can see, it mounted the file. Like if you inserted a CD, you'll take all of these files, make a skate folder and put it in your PS3. Right now we're going to go ahead and eject because I already done that. And once you do that, then the emulator will read it. You can click on add game. You go into the directory of where you have your game and select the folder. You'll click on the game. And the game will start. And as you can see, the game works. Last time I played this game, it wasn't the best. I was getting around 60 FPS. Um, there's probably things that you can do to tweak it, to get your handheld to, you know, fully play it the way that it should but for right now um just make sure that you are getting games that do give you um that playable you see right here on the right side over here where it says playable if it has a yellow one sometimes it plays but it has missing shaders or it doesn't play fully great 
um but the game could also have green and still not fully play great so just be mindful of that and that same process you saw for the ps3 you also have to do for the ps4 if you go into more then we're gonna go into shot of ps4 and as you can see i already have the games there here you don't have to um, install the firmware but you do just have to install the game and then once you're good to go you press on it press play the ps4 is a little bit better than the ps3 um, but as soon as you press it go ahead and do gamepad and then you can go ahead and play your ps4 game I don't know why this is failing. Oh, it's probably because I need to configure the memory card. Go ahead and open up MU station again. And I have pretty much everything from Atari to Xbox, Xbox 360, Nintendo 64. And again, um, with MU emulation station, everything is pretty much easy. Um, but I can show you that even these things work. Um, Emulation Station will use whatever is best available at the moment. Like if RetroArch is the best emulator to play that game, it'll use uh, it'll use that. You can switch it to whatever emulator you want it to run if you have a preference. Uh, but as you can see, this is working. So yeah, so you can do that. GameCube games as well work, like Burnout. And again, if you want to use Dolphin, you just you can install it and use it aside from um, em Emulator Station or Emudeck. Uh, one that I do want to show you that's not that it's a difficult setup, but you have to make sure you set up is the Xbox one in the Xbox one. You have to make sure you point the xbox emulator to the right path I'll show you how to do that right now all right so you have to go to settings you have to go to system and then the boot rom you have to make sure you point it out and all of this stuff is in my pack it's in bios go all the way down it says semu files so you click there and this one is the X, no oh, XMU is this one and the flash is the complex. You go here, that's the BIOS and it's usually the regular, the 031 I believe. Then you have to point at the hard drive that's there and then it. the application um should pick up now i use vulcan for this i do full screen and full screen on startup window size i do 1080p i don't care blah 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 xbox it's a radio get issues usually just restart everything and launch it again oh. whoops sorry so that's about it those are all the emulators uh that i have uh installed for myself um if you guys need help with your emu deck, just go ahead and join. If you guys need help, just go ahead and join the Discord and I'll be able to help you out. But that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoy it, like I said, please subscribe, like the video. And if you have any comments, go ahead and drop a comment. Again, appreciate you all for watching. Have a good one. And I'll see you on the next video.